What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I got the new Fast Pack EDC from Triple Alt Design. And this is a completely re-engineered version of the Fast Pack EDC. If you have not seen my older view, I'll put the link in the description below of the uh, older model. And we're gonna talk about some of the new features, design features, and difference, differences from the old model. What you're gonna notice first off, <clears throat> is the new uh, pack straps, the new uh, suspension system. And I really like this a lot. It has where the padded shoulder straps go deeper or lower down into the back. This makes the pack ride higher on the back and centered for more agility and make you more mobile. Um, this I've got on some of my higher end mountaineering packs. It has this same type of uh, strap system. If you see the old version, how it just attaches here. And also, it had these straps here to try to combat that. Those are now implemented into the pack itself so it doesn't come across the top. With the old model, to access the insides, you had to unclip these, which became a little bothersome at times. So, that's there and no, uh, you can access this without having to unclip that. <clears throat> Has a mesh back for breathability. This pack does not come with a waist belt strap. However, you do have the uh, option to add a waist strap. I really don't see the need of it. Uh, even on my old version, the first thing I did was take off the waist strap because it just, uh, a pack this small, I, I, I don't need it. You know, I'm, when I'm looking at 40 pounds plus, then I'll use a weight strap, a waist strap. So you do have the option, but like I said, it doesn't come with it and I really don't need it. I've done hiked uh, a few times with it, mountain bike with it. And if you follow me on Instagram, I, I talked about this when I first got it and I was hiking and, and showed some video of me hiking with it. <coughs> Something else that, that is completely new to it is the new roll top design of this uh, critical components pouch. And essentially it's like a dry sack inside the, in between the uh, frame and the uh, pack itself. So it has a roll top closure and you can access this without having to, you know, go inside the main pouch, which I like. And so any kind of electronics or anything like that is gonna be good. Uh, but also I thought about in a survival situation, putting your fire starting material, keep it dry. Something else new is this uh, lightweight attachment point system. And it's basically eight feet of paracord woven through here. And you can attach jackets or climbing rope and stuff like that and, and have it secured here. There's also new anchor straps here at the very bottom. And I have my hammock here. And so you have, uh, you know, you can leave these on the pack at all times. You can adjust by these little retainer clips here and just roll and then bungee cord to hold it into place. So you can add other gear and make it a larger pack or able to carry more equipment. <clears throat> the new pouches are a little longer than the older model, they'll fit water bottles. But if you also look, there's two. The old version came with one flashlight cave. This comes with two and I, I've got some of my wool gloves in here. But you have flashlight caves, secret pockets on both sides, as well as those side pouches. This one does come with the transporter tail as previous versions, but it does not have the pocket here, like uh, the old model did, which is fine with me because I, I rarely used it. Um, but you don't have that there. The I feel like this is uh, transport tail is clipping a little higher than the previous version. Um, it, it rides a little higher, which I do like as well because you can stuff jackets and things like that in there. You have another admin pouch, and you know, you got uh, pen holders, little places for books and stuff like that. I've got 
uh, a lighter, and just keeping things, odds and ends that you may need uh, qu to quickly access. Now, another design I really liked is the fact this is a completely clamshell opening design. The old one only opened to about here. So you can open the pack up and really get in there for anything you need. You have two zipper pockets instead of the uh, one from the old model because you had that zipper pouch on the front. So I guess it would have taken too much room. So you only had that one, but you have two now. So you can, you know, put items organized better in here you know i got things like my compass and stuff like that got a map of my area smog a knife medical kit and uh, some paracord and that's not even like beginning to even take up any room uh, of what's going on in there so in here this is the control panel this is a separate uh, component you can purchase but it uh, has two zipper pouches. So on uh, the back side here, and it has anchor points built into the uh, interior to secure that. And, and also on the side here where this Velcro is. Now, while we're looking at the control panel, it has a complete Molly back. So you can have the Molly back up front if you'd like and attach different pot pouches or knives and things like that tools uh, to it. So hanging, you know, this way. But I, I like the uh, pouches on the front. But you have all these securing points. You have a loop here you can attach a water bladder to. And a lot of room in there. And there is a hydration point here made of hypolin as well as the uh, handle. So you can have that hydration bladder come out. But what I do like also is, you know, all these fasteners, these little bungee fasteners, I believe they're made by IWB. Um, versus the old Velcro kind, these are silent. They don't make any noise, you know, versus the, the Velcro sound in case you're in a tactical situation. But I think this is the, really the, the perfect bag, honestly. I uh, <clears throat> am in love with this bag. It is uh, phenomenal. It, it's probably the best backpack, like three day style backpack that I've seen, especially with these new features. Um, I really did love the old model. But I tell you, it, this makes me want to go, uh, go throw rocks at the old model. I, I love all these new design features. And you can tell that Trip Alt Design actually tests gear and use gear to know what is needed in the uh, wilderness, you know, or, or needed in a pack. You know, and that's good because a lot of people just make gear to sell it, but they actually build gear that's going to be used and they try to make it better. So definitely check this pack out. It's, it's awesome. Um, it's my new favorite pack. Um, check out Trip Alt Design and link below. Check out BlackScoutSurvival.com for more tips and tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.